I'm about to give you the script that cost me five years of my life. I'm joking, five years of IGDM experience for my own gym agency. And I'm gonna give this to you within a five, eight minute video, this video. So you can get more appointments for your agency, so you can close more clients and scale it successfully in 2024. Now, I know you can skip literally to the part where it shows you the script and I'm talking about it, but let me tell you one important thing first. If you haven't seen my other video, the number one important thing when it comes to outreach in general, not just DMing, don't watch this video yet. Go to my descriptions literally below and watch that video first because I can give you the best script, but it won't matter if you don't watch this video. The number one tip when it comes to outreach, the script literally will be irrelevant. So go check that video out. It's in the descriptions. Now, assuming you're still on this video, you probably watched that video already. Awesome. I'm excited to dive into the script and show you exactly what I'm about to use personally to get more appointments. So let's dive into it right now. All right, so welcome on inside. This is literally the script we've been using for ourselves and other agencies, over 50 agencies, to be honest with you in 2023, that's gonna help them get more appointments in 2024. Now, this is just the template, all right? So I need you guys to be really creative. That's why you guys are entrepreneurs in the first place, to go ahead and make this work for your niche and for your service. Now. It really comes down to three things. Conversational starter, right? Getting the foot through the door. And I'm going to explain why this is actually super important, right? This is literally the first part. Then we transition to the offer. And again, if you haven't seen that video yet, you gotta watch that video because this is what's going to help you reel them in and get them booked, right? And that's step three. Now, the first thing we got to do is get the conversation started. So one of the best ways to do this is by engaging with them. And we all know this. If you've been around the IG or outreach game, you know what I'm talking about, right? Liking maybe three or four of their posts, commenting on their posts. Now, if you are getting an issue where you cannot comment on people's posts because of community guidelines, it's usually because of two things. You're literally copying and pasting the same thing. So if you're doing that, you need to personalize it. As you can see here, this is literally what we say. Now, if you aren't personalizing it and it still happens, it's most likely the account. That doesn't mean get rid of the account and burn it and get a new one. No, you can also reply back to their stories as well. If they have a story, that's totally, totally fine. Right. And also reply back to their highlights. That's the same thing as a story. Now that's where, when you do that, obviously you want to ask them if they can check their message requests folder, right? Cause every single DM, trust me, is going to land there, especially when it's a cold outage. That's when you go in here in parallel to what you're saying here, right? I'll give you an example in a second. You compliment them again, right? And again, the goal is to simply get them to respond. I don't mention offer yet. You, you come off salesy and I'll explain why I don't really like that uh, sort of strategy. It can work, but it's not the best, in my opinion, what I've seen over five years work for me. But you say, hey, just I saw your page. You know, it looks like you're doing awesome business, right? You can personalize it even and say, hey, really like this post, especially the one where you said X, Y, Z, right? Congrats. You can also, and then just get straight into a conversational offer. Like, may I ask how long you own your business? Are you taking on more jobs during the holiday season? Or are you kind of blocking it out? Or are you um, taking on more Botox clients if you're a med spa? Are you taking on PT clients? I saw only group class posts, right? Something that gets them turning to obviously reply back, yes, we are. And maybe they might think that you're a customer. Obviously, they'll reply back if that was the case, right? So what I mean by personalizing, let's just say I'm in fitness, right? I was in fitness for five years. Someone says, I, I see a post with an actually a great value post about top five bicep exercises trainer recommends. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm probably going to say, hey, really love this exercise, especially number five. I'm definitely going to try it out tomorrow during my arm workout. By the way, I sent you a message. would love to connect, although it might have landed in your message request, right? Then you go in here and say, hey, let's just say Dante just saw your page and really love that bicep exercise post you made. Again, really love the fifth one. Going to try it out. By the way, are you fully booked out going into 2024? Question mark. Right. And that's where they'll probably say, hey, yeah, actually, we have uh, some availabilities. I have some availabilities. You want to hop on a call to talk about how we can help you? That's when you transition to your offer, right? Step two. This is where you want to have a great, great, compelling offer, right? Otherwise, if you're not getting at least 50% of your replies from that first message they sent to you, turning into a positive reply, right? People saying, hey, show me how this works. I'm interested. Let's have a chat. It's going to become an issue and that's going to be the bottleneck, right? My goal is to have at least 50% of them turning into positive replies when they see it. So that's when we say, awesome. We're actually looking to help one home renovation company, med spa clinic, um, gym owner uh, to partner with in Dallas, in LA, in Seattle, right? 
we'll bring you XYZ jobs, right? Using XYZ vehicle within XYZ days or XYZ risk reversal, right? And again, if you don't know what I'm saying, then you probably didn't watch that video. I highly recommended you guys watch in the intro. So again, it's down below. If you don't know how to create a compelling offer, you need to watch it or else this whole vehicle will fall apart because this is really what makes or breaks everything, right? And any outreach, right? Could be a cold email, cold calling. Then we dropped the second line saying, would you be interested in seeing how we do this for other home renovation companies? Or you can also say, um, is this up your alley? Or do you have another, do you know another med spa clinic in Dallas that would be interested in getting XYZ amount of patients, right? Of course, if they are just busy, which happens, they don't live in the DMs, don't expect them to reply back all the time within the minute, right? You can use certain follow-ups, right, that are human. Like, hey, what's up? Doing good. A name, a gift. Like, and again, you can also be funny with it too. You know, it obviously depends on your niche and how professional they like, like to be. So obviously I wouldn't say this to a lawyer, right? I might say this to a gym owner, right? Or a car detailer. Um, But these ones definitely are good for professionalism, right? This one, obviously, maybe not, maybe good with roofers, um, right? You just want to know what their lingo is like and what their vibe is. Anyways, like, honestly, I would say to a gym owner, like, why are you acting like my ex-girlfriend? And they're like, yo, that was so funny. What's up? Like, they actually literally replied back to that. Anyways, when they show interest again, they say, show me how this works. Do you have an availability today to chat more, right? Or even if they say um, a certain objection, which I'll dive into at the very end. I have it on the last page. This is where you say, awesome. Well, the next step would be to jump on a quick call and I can actually connect you with our CEO, Marcus, or if you're Cameron, Cameron. And the reason why we do this is because actually we position these accounts as team members, which if you haven't seen the way I set this up, I have another video talking about how I set up my IG accounts. So go ahead and check it out. But this is where I create team member accounts, right? Reaching out to them. So it might be Paisley, it might be Daniel, whatever. And essentially I'm saying, hey, I can connect you with our CEO, Marcus, to give you more inform uh, info. Want me to put you on his calendar? Let's do it. And that's where they're like, okay, sure. I'll talk to Marcus, the CEO. Kind of like reverse gatekeeping. It's really cool. And puts you in authority because when you can go into your integral or demo call, you're saying, hey, what's up? This is Marcus, owner of PK Media. I saw Paisley from my outreach team reached out to you about how we can help your business get more appointments, get more um, patients, right? In Dallas, whatever, right? And they're like, yeah, I was talking to Paisley. Cool. Now, this is where you can drop a link, right? To actually book them in. Or what I recommend is drop it manually off your calendar, right? So you can insert the earliest availability of your your own time, right? Your own time in the prospect's time zone. So if they're EST and you're PST, EST, make it easy for them. Don't have them do time zone math. It just hurts the chances of them booking. Um, and then plus another time um, that might work for them, right? Like, can we schedule in for tomorrow at 8 p.m., 8 a.m.? You can also say, tomorrow anytime between 8 to 11 a.m right and once they give you a time say sounds good really quick what's the best email and phone number to book this in if you want to add in you can say by the way the ceo's number is this right it could be a go high level number whatever and then if you don't know the prospect's name of course you can ask hey what is the name of the person i will be speaking with and once you do that just firmly confirm that or just tell them that you confirm the booking Right now, the other thing you can do is also send them anything that will help nurture that call, especially if you deal with no show rates. This happens a lot in real estate lawyers, um, really sophisticated niches, right? Where they're just on the go and they might forget practically every niche, honestly. What you can do is just send them, hey, awesome. I know I reached out out of the blue. I just saw that we can connect. Here's a link to who the heck we are, who's Marcus, the CEO, and how we can help your business in Dallas get more appointments. So go ahead, check it out. So you are more comfortable talking to our CEO and they'll be like, Hey, I appreciate that actually. And they take a look and hopefully you can actually keep track that they have, right? If they, you can make a go high level trigger custom link. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but you can look it up. You can create a custom link where if someone clicks on the URL and opens it, it can create a tag in their own, own in the context that they have opened um, this pre-call guide or this pre-intro call guide or demo call guide. And that obviously increases show up rates. Like I can tell you, it increased mine from like 50% all the way up to 90% if they watched it. And also my closing rate because they trust me a lot more after seeing it, right? With testimonials, the video sales letter, maybe frequently asked questions, and also overall 
any other videos that you made about yourself and what you do. So that's where obviously you just say, hey, awesome. You know, I booked us in for that time. Speak to you on Monday or he'll reach out to you on Monday. Now, let's go ahead and talk about objections. What happens when people say no for yourself? Just say, okay, no worries. You know, this is one of my favorite lines. I, I'll shout out Joe Pochin, who's head of Agency Labs uh, sales team. He's really good at what he does. Trust me, guys. And one of my favorite lines that he gave was this. Do you know another um, med spa in Dallas that would like an extra twenty to 50000 in bottom line revenue from M Sculpting going into 2024? We offer a killer referral bonus. Typically, what happens when people find, actually read that, they're going to be like, whoa, there. I did not think that that's what you meant. I'm interested. Or like, whoa, you actually do that? It's like, yeah, that's how we do it through TikTok ads. Are you, are you actually interested? And they'll be like, yeah. It's like, okay, cool. So then you can book them in again. Let's see here. You can also say this if you want to just give them um, resources like your testimonials, maybe a video. That's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Right? Just like it and then send them the personalized video. I did that a lot with gyms and it helped actually be rebound and be like, oh, it actually looks cooler than what my agency is doing, or it actually was different than what I thought it was. Sorry for over judging you or judging you like a book. Like, no worries. It happens all the time. Um, and again, but if they say no again, just politely let them um, let them down or like tell them like, hey, no worries and, and leave some goodwill. Right. If they start asking, like, what's the call going to be about? Just make it very snappy and say, hey, it's going to be a chat about how we're going to help you get appointments using TikTok ads and what's worked for other med spa clinics. OK. Um, if they ask for an offer or what our services, just let them know it's custom. Guys, hold the custom frame. Don't ever drop the price. I swear to God, you're going to do yourself a favor if you don't drop the price. Save it for the calls. So that's where you rebound them and say, let's hop on a call. Talk about what makes sense for you. Our price is custom, right? All that stuff. Again, same thing here. If they ever ask, hey, is this a, like, have we met before, right? Because they might be using it to talk to their friends. Just say, nope, first time you're, we're meeting and then continue to whatever the heck you're, where you left off in the script. And then again, if they ask if we're an agency, just politely tell them we're a brand that uh, helps people like yourself, et cetera. And then emails, one of my favorite ones, because we see this a lot, especially with med spas or offices. Just go ahead and say, have to do that. And also let's hop on a call to chat so we can see if this is right for you anyways. I'll drop my availabilities one second and just assume they're interested because they are, right? So those are so far the most commonly objections we get in the DMs. And those, those things will help you. At the end of the day, just really um, innovate on top of this. Like I didn't get to this point like from the get-go, right? But I'm giving it to you guys so you guys can go to 2024 strong. But obviously innovate, you know, maybe an opening liner that, you know, like I made with Tony Lee, like this is the best place to ask a question, literally killed it in the car detailing industry. And then all of a sudden everyone started using it, right? Um, innovate on top of it. Maybe this, after watching this, and I don't know if like 15,000 people are going to watch this, but if 15,000 people watching it, we're all going to look crazy when we say the exact same thing here, right? Innovate on top of it, guys. Make yourself different. That's the whole point of this. Personalizing makes a good difference. But honestly, everything you say here is what's going to make you different. That's why I talk about the offers, because if you have a different offer than everyone else and why I'm saying TikTok versus Facebook, it's going to help you separate yourself and get people booking meetings with you. Because again, you're different. You're better than most people. You're newer than most people. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop in the comment section. But that's really the script right there. And I'll go ahead and make a copy for you guys in the description below. So you guys can go ahead, take this and run away with it, okay? So that is the script that's gonna get you more appointments in 2024, differentiate yourself and land you more bookings. But the truth is, while this will get you hundreds of appointments in 2024, you can honestly 10X it because this script is like a car. It's like a vehicle, it's like the ship. But I think I found this from Fast and Furious. It's not what you drive, it's who drives the vehicle. Something like that. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm going to make you the best driver with the best vehicle. So I'm going to drop that link in the descriptions as well. So you can watch that video and actually see how you can leverage your script and get the most appointments in your industry.